So I bought a refurbished Nintendo Switch OLED from GameStop and classic GameStop style, it was only $20 less than retail. So a brand new one cost $350, this refurbished one cost $330. So from the outside looking in, it's not a great deal, but we're gonna unbox this console, uh, test it out, make sure it works, check out the condition, and then we'll also open it up and see if GameStop actually refurbished anything. So I didn't show it earlier, but the box is bulging a little bit, so hopefully this goes well. And all right, so it looks like it is in an actual box. So I guess it was bulging just because we had a lot of these uh, um, packing bubbles, which is all good. And yeah, so like I said, this is $330 uh, after tax and handling, $353. So I'm not saving much money at all. And the thing is, these things are not hard to find now. It's kind of funny because when this console came out, it was pretty hard to find for a while. Uh, but I looked on GameStop recently and, you know, there was a refurbished one just sitting right there. And I've also been in a few stores recently like Target and Walmart and they have a bunch of OLEDs just sitting on the shelf. And it looks like they just basically reused the uh the old nintendo switch packaging and just slapped on a sticker that says oled so not a big deal but uh kind of interesting and something else i noticed gamestop doing here that they've that i've seen them do recently as well is they call it certified pre-owned on the box but it's actually a refurbished console um, and if you look at the listing for the switch oled they have a new console a pre-owned console and a refurbished so i don't know why they're throwing certified pre-owned on there when it's refurbished i don't know if they're kind of just you know mix them all up now uh, but clearly down here it says GSRF for refurbished switch OLED blue red and uh, yeah so I will say all the consoles I've bought from GameStop recently all the used and refurbished ones do actually come in real boxes like this which is good to see I have bought a lot of consoles from them in the past where they'll just throw it into a cardboard box and not even wrap it up well and it just bounces around in the box so um, it's good to see them actually <laughs> use correct packaging but let's see what we got in here I'm hoping the screen is not all scratched up hoping we don't have any uh, you know screen burn in so here it is switch setup they're basically just using the same switch setup they used in the past we got our same two you know joy con straps got our power brick this looks like an official power brick so that's good to see and then we also have an hdmi cable and then under this flap right here we should have our dock and a few other things all right so first of all we got our controller and our joy con grip here so let's see what we got here and as you can see this is the blue and red uh, hopefully you don't have any Joy-Con drift here, which we'll test out. Looks like the blue one has some battery, the red one does not right now. Let's go ahead and take these out of here, make sure they look okay. So first of all, this looks good. Got some scratches, but that's expected on a used refurbished console. Um, the Joy-Con also looks pretty good. I don't really see any scratches there. There are a few scratches, it's just hard to see on camera with this color, but nothing crazy. So this one looks pretty good as well, nothing crazy. I uh, got a few scratches, but they're they're hard to see on camera. So I believe we checked below this flap and this is where the uh, Joy-Cons were. So let's go ahead and take that out. And we should have our dock in here somewhere. There it is. And cool, so they gave us the correct dock. I was honestly thinking for a second they might give us the wrong dock, which I would, would not surprise me at all, but the dock looks pretty good in the front. There's only a couple scratches. And here on the back, it's a bit dusty, but uh, you know, doesn't look too bad. And the really nice thing about the Switch OLED dock is you can actually take this plate all the way off, which is super, super helpful to get to these uh, ports back here. Looks pretty good, just dusty. And uh, yeah. And of course, last but not least, we got our actual console here. All right, so here's the console. And as you can see, the screen looks pretty dang good. I don't, I see some smudges where I put my fingers but and some dust, but I don't see any scratches, I don't think. Actually, there's, there's one scratch right there, but I couldn't find that unless I looked directly in the light. So that's not too bad. And let's see here on the bottom, looks pretty good as well that port looks good and it looks clean here on the back looks pretty good I don't see anything crazy I mean there's some scuffs and scratches but nothing crazy let's check out this uh back plate the kick kick stand and see if that works properly it appears to which is good to see the rails on the sides look good I know it's not really focusing very well there we go so the rails look good on that side rails look good on this side it's not really focusing on the top but the top looks good as well game card slot is there no game in there bummer let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on and test it out. So we'll start by testing this thing without the dock. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And hopefully it has some battery. There we go, cool. And first thing I will say, these Joy-Cons feel a bit looser than they should on the Switch OLED, which is kind of odd, but we'll go with it for now. So we do have life. Let's go ahead and go through the setup process and get it, get it ready to go. All right, so our setup is complete. So I mentioned earlier that the uh, Joy-Cons felt a bit loose in the OLED. Uh, which it shouldn't and I just figured out why so it looks like they actually included the old joy cons from the original switch with this console I actually have my own OLED and you should have the reddish orange whatever you want to call it on the right side and blue on the left side this one has the opposite 
uh, which was how it was on the original Switch, and that's why the Joy-Cons are kind of loose. If you look closely, as you can see, that one wiggles back and forth. This one wiggles back and forth as well. And then on my personal Switch OLED, there's pretty much no wiggle at all. As you can see, it's not, it's just not wiggling at all. Now part of that redesign was supposed to be that the rails were better on the Switch OLED, which is part of it, but clearly part of it was also the Joy-Cons. Uh, they did say they improved the Joy-Cons with the OLED, so um, that must be part of it, because as you can see, these are pretty wiggly. Not a huge deal, but kind of annoying to be honest, um, especially when you're paying, you know, only 20 bucks less than, than retail. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing into the dock and we'll test everything there and make sure it works. So we have the Switch plugged into the dock now, as you can see. Let's go ahead and put a game in. I have Super Mario Odyssey here with me. So we'll play this game, test it out, see if it works. Uh, we'll do a little, you know, Joy-Con drift test to make sure there's no Joy-Con drift. Because knowing GameStop, I'm sure they've sent out Joy-Cons with Joy-Con drift before. Uh, so let's go ahead and update this first, and then we'll get started. All right, so booted up in the game now. I'm on a new save uh, since it's a new console. Let's go ahead and, and B works, A works. Um, I guess I can't do everything yet, but we can at least test and make sure the game's working and most of the controls. All right, so it looks like every all the controls work. I don't see any drift. Uh, if I saw some drift, he'd probably be walking or the camera would be rotating a little bit, um, unless it's a very subtle drift. But I don't see any drift here, so that's good to see. Um, and I forgot to mention it earlier, but I didn't see any, uh, you know, OLED burn-in on the screen, which is good. I, you know, everybody talks about OLED burn-in, but I think it's a very small issue. Um, I don't think it happens very often, but as you can see, this is working. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu now. So another thing we can do is actually come over to controllers and sensors in the settings. And if you click on calibrate control sticks, you can calibrate both the control sticks. And you can actually see here if there's any drift. So uh, clearly it is centered right now. Once I start moving it, it, it moves the, uh, the point. Let's go back and try the left trigger or left stick as well. And yeah, so looks good. Don't see any Joy-Con drift, so that's good to see. But yeah, there's other little things you can try on here, but we're not going to test anything else right now. Um, pretty much everything looks good. I, took, I tried a screenshot, and as you can see, it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and turn this thing off, and we're going to open this bad boy up and see if GameStop actually cleaned it out or refurbished anything. And yeah. So one other thing I forgot to test on camera is the touchscreen. So got to boot it up now. We're just going to test it out real quick. And as you can see, it appears to be working just fine. I can touch everything, seems to work, and cool. So let's go ahead and turn this thing off. We gotta hold down the button and turn it all the way off, and then we will open this thing up. So I think we have 11 screws to take out. We have two back here, one, two, and then there's uh, one, two on the bottom, and then there's three on each side, I believe, and then there's one on the top. So let's go ahead and take all those off, and we'll take off the back cover. I'm not going to go super in-depth, I kind of just want to take the back off and take a quick look inside and see if there's any dust and uh, see if it looks like they cleared anything up um, or messed anything up. And yeah, so as you can see I've got the back cover taken off. Here's the back cover. It wasn't too hard to take off, I only had to take off a few screws. And I do think they've opened this up um, and I'll explain why. And I'm not sure if they've actually replaced anything, but I do think they at least opened it up and cleaned it out. So I actually ended up opening my own uh, personal Switch OLED as well to compare things. So the reason I think this thing has been opened up and cleaned or something is because there's a little scratch right there. Um, there's a little scratch up there. And then this cable right here was not routed under this metal clip, um, which it should be from factory. So I think those things indicate that this thing has been opened before. Because if you look at my personal Switch, which I know has never been opened until I opened it, um, there's no scratch up there. That thing, that little cable right there is routed under the metal piece and there was no scratch over here. So now the other interesting thing is this side of the, the metal uh, piece right here has some, has this like ribbed kind of effect right there. Whereas this one does not, which is interesting. They're both switch OLEDs. I don't know if it has been slightly updated since I bought mine. I don't know, but uh, that was interesting. So, man, I guess we're all good. You know, it looks like GameStop did open this up and at least clean it out or somebody did. Um, and this thing seems to work just fine. The only downside, like I showed you guys earlier, is the uh, Joy-Cons. Uh, so these are the original Joy-Cons that came with the original Switch. If it was the OLED Joy-Cons, the right one would be the orangish red and the left one would be the uh, blue. And like I said, the reason that matters is because these Joy-Cons kind of wobble in the OLED console, which is a little disappointing, especially when you're only saving 20 bucks here. So uh, I said this at the beginning, but I don't recommend anybody buy this thing for just $20 off unless this is literally the only switch OLED you can find um, because I mean 20 bucks savings come on you don't get a warranty you get 
uh, the wrong joy cons you get stuff that's scratched up I mean is it really worth saving 20 bucks and honestly if you really need to save that 20 bucks I'm not sure you should be buying a switch OLED in the first place but um, that's just how I feel so yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video let me know down below what you think about these GameStop refurbished and pre-owned consoles these days and uh, yeah thanks for watching and have a great day